Couple all that with the stress of trying to apply for college, and our students are dealing with a lot. Remember, COVID-19 canceled in-person SAT and ACT exams over the past few months. 10 Investigates Jenna Bourne takes a deeper dive into how COVID-19 is impacting college admissions testing in the new episode of our YouTube series, What's Brewing? I'm Joel, and my bedroom is now my classroom because of COVID-19. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Socket, and this is now my classroom because of COVID-19. Socket says he's already taken the SAT three times. One of the most stressful times in my life, just every single week, a practice test for three or four hours, going over the practice test, figuring out exactly why I got every single question wrong, studying that concept, going back, doing, doing it again on another practice test. Now he and his classmate, Joel Calarackel, consider themselves lucky. They got to take their tests before COVID-19 canceled the SAT and ACT in March, April, and May. I know like a lot of people who they didn't get the score they wanted or something, and now they, they're like worried because they don't know if their SAT is going to get canceled. Um, rescheduled. Because of COVID-19, the ACT plans to offer an online test starting in the fall. The SAT says it'll offer digital testing too, if for some reason schools don't open back up. Now this was really interesting to me. The two students you've been hearing from in this story, both rising seniors, both go to the same school, both want to go into medicine. They had totally different opinions on the possibility of online college admissions testing. Joel Calarackle says it's unfair that he would have to compete with students who might be tempted to use outside resources like their phone, their parents, their smart friend. There's obviously going to be people that are going to find a loophole to try and cheat on the test. That means your higher score means less. Especially when celebrity parents paying to rig their kids' SAT scores is still fresh in the news cycle. But Socket says he wants to see online SAT and ACT testing become an option no matter what happens with COVID-19. Online SATs would certainly remove a lot of the test anxiety that goes um, with taking a standardized test. And you don't really have the opportunity to go on your phone and search something up. You would just be losing time. You might lose out on a question or two. So how could cheating be prevented? The College Board, which admits administers the SAT says on test day, students will have to verify their identities and confirm the work they submitted is their own. Their answers will be evaluated using a range of digital security tools and techniques, including plagiarism detection software and post-administration analytics. 